Potential plans to redevelop Charleston's Union Pier are moving forward. Today, South Carolina Ports Authority officials presented their most up-to-date plans and rezoning requests to city officials and the public. Our Molly McBride joins us live from the Union Pier site now with a breakdown of tonight's meeting. Molly. Well, Cameron, for some background, the South Carolina Ports Authority is looking at selling the 65 acre plot of land on the Charleston Harbor to create a mixed use district. That plan includes affordable housing and retail office and commercial commercial space. South Carolina Ports Authority officials say the plan provides a once in a generation opportunity to revitalize the Charleston waterfront into a mixed use neighborhood with places to live, play and work. They say they adjusted their plans to reflect the public's feedback they received over the last six months. The plan presented tonight included lower building heights, reduced square footage, the expansion of the Rice Mill Mall, and over 350 units of affordable housing. But despite the adjustments, the majority of the over 500 written comments and 70 in-person speakers were against the plan as it stands, similar to concerns we've heard before. I feel betrayed by this proposal because it's just so painful that you would even think of putting these blocky buildings near the Custom House and it's just changing the fabric and the character of our city. But let us think about the noise, the trucks, the dust, the disruption to our lives and how long is this going to go on for? Three years? Five years? What is the impact for us that have to go through this day after day to live with the noise? City of Charleston officials say tonight city staff did not give an official recommendation to the planning commission because the latest version of the plans from the Ports Authority came in only last week and are still under review. The city of Charleston's planning commission will reconvene for consideration of the plans on July 10th. From there, depending on the recommendation, it will move to city council for further review. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.